most of what you see on the screen is all you really need. I'll throw in a few comments along the way. The pattern you see there is on my website under tutorials, 7 by 16 knot. You can get swimming pool noodles all over the place. Get the round ones around two and a half inches in diameter. It doesn't have to line up perfectly, but it does need to match up. Each one of the loops around the edge is going to be held open by a toothpick peg. I break them in two put the sharp end into the plastic. This particular pattern, since there are 16 loops around the edge, there will be 32 of those pegs. Now we're going to find out how much string it takes. If you already know, you just measure it out. But you can wrap it around the pattern until you've hit every one of the pegs once. When you come up to the end, that's how much string it's going to take for one pass. I just tie a knot in there just to make sure that I've got the center marked out. And now I'm going to double the string. I'm just going to take that end and lay it out. I'd already cut it approximately to length. You can see the ends match up. I always start in the middle when I'm tying them because that way I don't have to move as much string around. So you start out. They're numbered. You can find number one and start there. It goes around. You notice the string is lying right over the ink. I'm very lazy. I make sure that it goes on top the whole time until it absolutely has to go underneath. Just keep going around, keep going around. This is the boring part. Let's uh, I think we're going to skip forward a little quicker here. It'll look like I'm working really fast, but that's just a video effect. You notice it's still staying right over the line, each one. Now when I come up to the first place where I have to go under, I have to get it underneath there. You notice it's not all that easy. I don't go looking for the end, I just take the loop through and then grab that loop and pull the rest through. If you're constantly hunting for the end in order to poke it through, you're wasting a lot of time. The end is going to follow the middle. So you take it around, it's going to do the same thing on both sides. Comes up through there, under the one, over all the rest in that line. Uh, at this point, you got that other end hanging down in the way. I just wad it up. And I stick it in the end of the noodle because there's that handy little hole. That way it's not dangling down and getting in the way every time I turn around. Okay, back to the knot. Under the one over the others. Now I'm going to go just show all of those quickly. Under, and across, and now you see there's the number one right there that I'm passing again. I'm going to have to go under it. So under the first loop, and now under that place where number one went through, that first first piece of string that laid down right there. Going under that one and over the last two, and then we're going to just do all that again. Again, and again, and again. And every time we pass the first one, we're going to pick it up again. 
there. Okay, we picked it up again. You can always stop the video and look at it closely if you want to. But it's really just repeating overs and unders. Notice the strings getting shorter. Sorry about the focus, but that's the last little bit coming up to the beginning. Yep, there's still the whole rest of the string to go. Pull that out of there. Take out the marker. I'm a little klutzy at this point, but... So we're going to go right down the opposite direction. Notice we've turned around and we're heading the other way. And we're going to go right next to the original one. Going under where it's under. The string's always going to be trying to tangle. You just have to deal with it. Over where it's over. Under where it's under. Staying on the right, yes. You notice I just reach in with the point of that and, and slide it on through. Okay, that's the way that goes. But it might be easier if you do all three of them and pull it through. You see that? Or better yet, grab a needle. Something with a big enough eye that you can get the string through. Notice again, I start in the middle and I pull the end through at my leisure. Okay, now... I can just slide that in right next to the original one. Can't quite get under three at a time, so I just take two of them. Pull it on through. Take it under the last one. There we go. Of course it's tangling again. It's in the nature of the stuff. You notice I'm inside the peg there. Watch what happens. I'm taking it through there and pulling it out of the way. You notice it's on the inside track. I take the peg and I push it over. Still on the right. Now it's nice and even. I verify I've got everything where I want it. No loose places. Take it under that last loop. And you notice it's still on the outside. Now it's on the outside track. I come around there, over, under. And now let's just go ahead and get the rest of those out of the way. You can see what I did. I wish I could work that fast. Okay. Round and round, round and round, under, over. So, last little bit. String's getting kind of short. At this point, it starts coming out of the needle. So I could just use the point at this point and pull it through. And now you could see right there I've got three going through. At that one spot all the rest of it's doubled. Okay, now it's time to take the pegs out because they're just in the way. And that's not something to dwell over, so let's speed it up. That looks pretty good get the last peg out. I think I forgot one up on the other row. Yep, sure enough. And slide it off. Smooth it out a little bit. You can see that it's nice and even. And we deal with the ends some way or other. Don't worry about them right now. We've got the knot done. There it is.